What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and the Brawl Talk was released yesterday, and today, the update is out. So, I'm going to go over everything else in the update. Make sure you guys don't miss anything. I'm going to teach you all exactly how the new Brawler upgrades work, show you everything in the shop, tell you how it works, show you all the new features, of course, the new Smash and Grab map, Crow's voice acting, and anything else. So I got a lot of great info in this video, so definitely stick around and check it out. So here we are in landscape mode. What do you guys think of the update? It seems like the majority opinion is pretty negative just from people watching the Brawl Talk, but this is the real test. What do you actually think after playing it? So definitely let me know what you think in the comments after playing it some. And I'll tell you guys my opinion as well later on in the video. So let's just go over everything pretty briefly for now. So of course, this is the new homepage. Up here you got your coins. You have your keys down below, which is what used to be gold. Now called keys, so that works the exact same way. You play battles, you get keys. This is a new profile page. Pretty standard, basically the same as before. The band page, a little bit different. A cool new feature I like. They show who is online. We got Lexi time online right now. So it shows everyone who's online first. And then it shows the leaderboards for your clan. So that's a nice small feature. You can see exactly who's online. Like, hey, man, come on. Come play. Uh, friends list as well. Pretty similar. All right, now let's go over the brawler. So this is the brawler page. Looks pretty nice. The UI, in my opinion, looks pretty solid. It looks a little bit better than before, but otherwise it's pretty similar. And then upgrading brawlers. You have 10 levels on each brawler. Each one goes up by 5%. So you use the coins, which you get coins in brawl boxes, which I'll show in a second. So you just go like this. You use the coins and you upgrade brawlers. So now it's my Shelly is level 9. Uh, for instance, let's do a lower level guy. You can do it a bunch of times. Pretty simple, so there's just 10 levels. Now it's really simple, you don't get to choose whether you're upgrading attack, health, or whatever, you just upgrade everything at once. Now, oh yeah, Crow's voice acting, how can I forget? Let me turn up the volume. Most important part of the video. I smell a rat. I like one of them a lot. Yeah, that's my favorite one, the ca It's kind of, I feel like it's iconic. It's not bad. What do you guys think of Crow's voice acting? Let me know. I think it's not bad. I def I'd like a couple of them. Some of them I'm not sure about. It is a little bit fitting. It's also a little bit like more nasally than I was thinking as well. It's a little bit annoying somewhat, but it kind of fits him too. He is a crow. Okay, so I think that's the basics. It's a pretty simple system. Now, let's just open up some boxes for you guys just so you can see exactly how this works. So, on average, every time you open a bra box, you get about 25 or 24 coins and you get a total combined power, usually of around 15. And you also get about half a ticket. Now, of course, if you get a brawler, you're not going to get any power. If you get, um, and you can also get as a bonus item... You can get a key doubler, which works the exact same way as the old coin doublers, which all your coin doublers were converted into key doublers. So it's pretty simple. It looks kind of cool, honestly. Um, looking at all the power points flow in. Oh, I skipped it that time. But it looks kind of cool. It looks even more cool when you open up big boxes. So let's go right to the shop. So this is probably a little more interesting. So the shop, it looks pretty similar to Royale. You get your six offers for the day each day is a new set of offers so you can choose to buy power points for a specific brawler so you can still target upgrading specific brawlers now royale the only difference or one of the main differences there's so many cards in royale it's harder to target stuff but in brawl stars i don't think you're going to have the same problem since there's only 19 brawlers you get six offers every single day so i think you'll be able to target the brawlers you want to upgrade Fairly frequently, so it won't be too hard if you want to upgrade a specific brawler, I think. We'll see exactly, but I don't think it's going to be too hard. Now, there are some other things. Of course, you can get power points in the shop, but you can also get a free band box. And you can get, you can buy a brawler you don't have. 
So like it'll say buy new um, super rare brawler and it'll be 80 gems, something like that. I don't know exactly all the rarities that can be bought in shop, but I am glad they're allowing brawlers to be bought in shop. I definitely think it's a good addition. You can also, I think, get um, a big box in shop that's cheaper than normal. You might be able to also get uh, a coin or no, a key doubler in shop as well. It's a little cheaper than normal. Same thing for the rolls. Those are the same. This is the key doubler. It's the same as before. And then there's the same gem packs. And you can also buy the coins, which are help used to upgrade brawlers. Now, let's open up some big boxes because I think big boxes, it's a little different. So before you opened up 10 boxes. Now that's not true. That's not what you do. You get your coins all in one huge stack. So you get a bunch of coins at once. And then you get about five, four to six different things of power points. So you get power points for four to six different brawlers, and it's just a lot more. So you get about ten times that power points that you would get normally in a regular box. So I like this a lot more. And then you also get more tickets if you get tickets. You get more of the key doubles if you get those. So open up a couple. I think it's pretty cool. I like it this way. You're not just like tapping away constantly opening up ten boxes. Like if you're trying to open up multiple of it. Blah! You're trying to open up multiple big boxes. That was kind of annoying. Honestly, it was a long process. So this is definitely much smoother, more enjoyable. You can definitely like spam opening big boxes now. Which if you're a really dirty gemmer, you might do. Here, I'll just buy some of these. But, and I mean, it just looks pretty simple. Just says purchased. Uh, so those refresh every 24 hours. Okay, now let's go over... I will show you the new map, and one thing that's cool is you can actually advertise to your friends list now. So you can just click that button. Instead of like advertising to your band like normal, you can advertise to your friends list. So that's a nice small feature. All right, now let's go over the new map. It is called Sapphire Plains. It's basically Snake Prairie. Okay, so let's play a game on the new map, Sapphire Plains, and I'll give you guys my opinion of landscape and the changes. Now this is really cool, I think. The new battle animation as soon as you start the game i thought that looks really nice and i like the kill feed one all right so this is something i don't like that it's you don't see as far vertically so like with ricochet i mean look at how far my range is off the map like this is how far his range is normally and then this is how much i see like a third of it is gone so that i definitely don't like um Oh, that was my auto-aim. I wasn't even trying to do that. The auto-aim is not bad. Oh, look at all these bounces. This is going to be good for Ricochet. Bow's going to be really good here, too. Ooh. This map is definitely going to be really interesting in general. Just because it's going to be crazy for smash and grab. Um, so, I don't know. Landscape mode, to me is not bad. I actually kind of like it more overall. I think it adds a little more strategy. Definitely team communication is going to be um, easier. I feel like you're going to be easier to coordinate with your teammates since you're going to be able to see, hey, my teammate is going up on the right side. I can support him in the middle. But maybe before, it was kind of harder to see that if you were on one side of the map and he was on the other. Um, so that's definitely a little bit better now. I'm still not a big fan of the controls yet, but I think we're definitely going to get used to that. So we're going to have to see. It's going to be interesting to see how long it takes for us to get used to the controls. Now, this is a little bit different to the end screen. It's not that different. All right, let's go as Bo. Uh, where's Bo? There's Bo. All right, so I'll play one more game. Um... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the controls and how long you think it's going to take us to get used to it. Let's see, like, Bow's range is fine. Bow's a shorter range, though. I think melee characters in mid-range is going to be really strong as soon as the update is out. Those guys are going to be easiest to use by far. Because everyone, as soon as they start, is going to be not accurate. So as we get later on into the update, people... Probably long range characters are going to be start using a little more as people get more accurate. But for now, definitely mid range and short range are going to be really strong is my guess. You're going to see a lot of Poco and Pam with the mid range guys as well probably. 
since they're pretty easy to use. High health. Pretty easy to aim. The auto assist is also really good with the mid range and short range guys. Basically, auto assist is good the closer you are, since it basically just shoots right near someone. So, like here, I'm using auto assist. It's also decent with supers. Any quick reaction stuff where the person is pretty close to you, your auto assist is going to be pretty good. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'll get out some gameplay, and I'm going to be streaming the update tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. I stream every Thursday at that time. That's pretty much going to be it for this video. Uh, there's not much else in the update. So, guys, let me know what you think of the changes. Let me know how you feel about the update and the gameplay. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.